Hola chicos and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time then welcome. So I I am a cream puff. Um that means I stand Camilla so much and kinda T V took out 17 freaking episodes. Like I love the fact that it's now an act. So they took out 17 episodes which is act one and I have not been the same since Friday so it, can, it comes out on Friday for me not Thursday but yeah I have not been the same since Friday because I've watched all 17 episodes like five times already I am not okay I am not okay and that's why I feel like we need to talk about this you know get it out of our system so that when act 2 comes along we all good we all fine you know then we can talk about it and have fun again but I need to talk about this because what but okay, firstly, we're going to talk about Perry. Perry as the D. Now, I loved Perry, you know. I loved Perry in the other seasons, and she was, you know, the cute friend, the one who was always cleaning, always shook, you know, always scared. You know, she was okay. I loved her. But now, she was this good, like sexy, kind of hot. Now she's like, she's freaking hot. As I love her as the Dean I just can't hate the Dean because she is possessing Perry right now because what like please look at this tell me she does not look pretty tell me she does not look a1 please tell me if you think she does not look a1 then I don't know what's wrong with you because are you are you are you okay are you okay this is a proper question like are you okay i mean i can't hate her because she looks so cool okay we're moving on from uh perry now we're moving to camilla okay now camilla is a very nice uh, character for me because she's played by natasha nagovinus and it took me a while to finally say her name properly and yeah i love her I love Natasha Nicholas and I've been watching her videos on Kinda TV, you know, just waiting for Camilla to come out, right? Camilla season 3, okay. <sighs> Hold on, I, I'm trying to, because I am picturing her in my head and she's just amazing. So, she is pretty, I love her, but now, I literally ship her with Laura, you know, Holstein is my, is my one, it's my one and only. So there's this moment that I can't get over. <laughs> Every time Camilla looks at Laura, uh, my heart, my heart just, it becomes so warm inside because, yes, my ship is sailing. My ship is sailing and I love it. I love it. She, 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 like. I don't understand why they're not in a relationship. I mean, I get it. Almost died. Almost all the shenanigans of last season. But I mean, <sighs> they love each other. Why can't they? Why can't they do what I want? Like, please do what I want you to do. Okay. Episode seven. Episode seven. Levantine now talks about how Camilla and Laura are not actually like focused because of their you know feelings towards each other that they don't want to talk about which pisses me the f off because my ship guys my ship okay so she talks about it and there there's i think it's exhibit c or b i'm not sure i'll check it properly i literally relate <laughs> i relate to camilla on a spiritual level because laura is doing yoga She's doing yoga, she be stretching. <laughs> oh, she's stretching and everything. And then when Camilla, I almost said when Natasha, because I love her as Natasha, when Camilla looks at her <laughs> and then she drops those glasses. Oh, okay, wait, this scene. It's amazing. I love it because it. My ship, like, let's protect my ship. Don't blow holes in it. It's my ship. And I love it. And I love to see it prosper and sailing and going in every direction I want it to go. So, 
and that was happy that was a happy moment for me because i could relate i would also do the same thing i literally was kind of doing the same thing when i was watching it because i was just like Am I the only person who is terrified of Maddie? Like, I love Maddie. I loved her in the other seasons because she, she's just so amazing and, and mysterious and I loved her laugh. It was just so evil and I loved it. But now she scares the fuck out of me. I'm just like, huh? What? When she first came out, I was like, Because, I mean, she isn't she supposed to be dead? She's supposed to be dead. And now she's more scary because she's wearing all black and she's popping in and popping out. and <sighs> Like, it freaks me out. It freaks me out so much that I'm just like, Maddie, I love you, right? But what? Like, literally, you see? the way the first time i saw her i was literally like you know camilla in the last episode where she sees her and it's like <laughs> that was me i was just like wait what is she doing here like literally maddie what <sighs> but i love that she's here i know she's not a she doesn't seem like she's going to be a bad person in this thing in this whole scheme of things because i feel like the third talisman is actually hers and she is the death lady i don't know how that made sense in my head but it just makes sense she is the death lady and the third talisman is her amulet and that's why she took it that's why she took it the first time she visited and then that's why she wrote those symbols with, with the blood mm -hmm. she's the death lady and that's why she came through after they did the summoning thing. But I think she was going to come out anyway. But anyway, yeah, they did that summoning thing and I think that's why she came through. Then, Danny, like what the fuck? I don't get her story. I don't get why she would fall into the trap of the Dean. Because why are you being such... She's so terrible. I can't. I used to love her and her tall... She is tall like taller i loved her but now she's just all like how do you know we saw it we saw laura she was so devastated no uh-uh not mm -mm. Mm -mm. girl you better check yourself you better check yourself because we know what happened you are doing the wrong thing danny and that is making me sad it's making me sad because you could have been helping right now, but you're not. You're not helping. <sighs> but anyway. Okay, this is the last thing. Episode 16. Everything was going great, right? Everything, they were doing what they do the best in Silas University, you know. They're looking, they're trying to get themselves into trouble. It's okay. You know, I'm fine with that. It's Camilla like that. It's the season like that. Then, towards the end, I can, you can just feel it inching closer and closer. The sexual tension right there is like, wow, it's amazing. It's, oh, you can see it. It's right there building between them, right? Then, like, we're all watching. Like, I am watching. I'm fine. I'm good. Then, we, I'm, not I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared for what comes next. They just go at it, <laughs> like literally, they go at it like freaking animals, and I am just sitting there, I'm just like, what is going on? Literally, I was like this. I could not breathe, I was just like, what is happening? Huh? Who? Huh? Yes? No? Don't do it? You? Huh? Ew. My ship? My ship? My ship? Yes. But then I'm just like um we're supposed to be focused and then just i was torn okay i was torn and i was yeah a lot of things were happening in my head what you did was not okay what you did was not okay the timing is wrong girl you guys are supposed to fix it in episode one already but now you want to fix it in episode six uh-uh uh-uh anyway <laughs> if you 
you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and please comment down below what you thought of act one of season three of camilla and let us talk about it like who did you like what do you think is gonna happen did i miss out anything that you probably found as like it qualifies for a shook meme just tell me and we'll talk about it we'll have a nice conversation because we're all cream puffs like that right okay so guys i will see you guys next time when i react to another video please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and ciao